Hello, welcome to the Rugged Rock Hound. This week is kind of family week with July 4th and asking the family where they wanted to go, decided to come where I went last week, where I found the Limonite Pseudomorphs after Pyrites. So I got some good friends here. <laughs> Here's my brother and my dad. So we're gonna dig into this and see what we can find today. I thought it might be nice to explain what a pseudomorph is and how these crystals form. As hot water, rich in iron and sulfur, moves toward the surface of the earth, it encounters areas of lower pressure, such as a space filled with air. Due to the decrease in pressure, the saturated water will deposit these elements, which will attach to each other in a structured network, kind of like bricks building a house. As they attach over time, they form into crystals. The more time that passes, with the hot water bringing in a constant supply of new materials, the larger the crystal will form. Iron and sulfur combine to make pyrite in this scenario. Then when a new system introduces oxygen to the crystals, the oxygen will begin to replace the sulfur, thus rusting the pyrite into a new mineral known as limonite or gertite, depending on who you ask. As the pyrite is replaced by the new mineral, the new mineral keeps the shape or structure of the old mineral. This is what is known as a pseudomorph. Only been digging a few minutes. We're digging over there. And this one, not too bad. And right now, can you see it? I'm working on getting this one out right here. I'm gonna crack this so it should come out pretty quick. Oh, there it comes. You can see it popping out right there. And there it is. It's got, a, it's got two cubes like this one grew that way. Pretty cool. My dad just pulled his first one out. There it is right there. Very nice cube. Well, kind of a tango person. <laughs> Someone I'm look at. And it looks like he found another one right there. Let's see. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, and it's bigger than that one. So there's the other one that came out of that. Oh, it's rusted. Oh. Well, sorry. <laughs> Some of them are like that. Well, there we go. <laughs> now we just need Kyler. Another one out. Pop out of the rock. So as I flip the rock over there, it was on the back side of it. I think I might have something right here. Oh yep. Look at that one. It's a nice big one. Alright, add that to the bucket. Okay. Got one poking out right there. Can you see it? <laughs> cube to it. Nice shape. Oh, and a nice cube in the rock right there. Very nice. I was just digging here and flipped that out right there. Wow. It's actually a very big crystal right here. With a few smaller ones on it. Rusted quite a bit though, so I don't know how it'll come out after I wash it. I think I see another one about to come out right there. Ah, uh, once again, very rusted. Only got the edge here. Uh, I think I got a cluster right here. So I was just digging there and I came back this way. I think I have a nice cluster here. Oh, oh, that's nice. Look at that one. Oh wow. That's a cluster right there. Wanna see that? Ooh. <laughs> that's beautiful. See, that's what we're looking for. Looks like he just opened that pocket and you can see there's a cube there, cube there, cube there. Three cubes. There. Or four there. cubes. Might be more in there too. 
Let's see if there's any more. Or up there. Yeah. That's gonna pop down. There's one right look right there. Yeah, a little one right there. This Coming is out. where they popped out this out of here. So maybe follow this line yep. right here. Alright. Found a couple of really nice ones. Go ahead and rotate that around. Let me see the beautiful. Or I can I can do it, I guess. I'm doing gloves. Very cool. It's a twinned crystal. Very nice edges and very shiny. And then I got this one my dad found. Just perfect. Oh, in that same cluster. Just a quick info here. I just popped this out right here, and it was a cube, but as you can see, so many of the cubes quite often are very rusted. It just has this face that has survived pretty much. Other times you'll hit pockets like this where the whole thing just crumbles to rust. I got one of those right here, a nice big one that just was rust. And this might happen when it gets near the surface, too much water going through it, and it just rusts. Get oxygen down here and it rusts these place out so that any cubes or other crystals have all basically dissolved to rust. Yeah, so you get that a lot, just have to get used to it. Keep looking. Could dig it for a bit, and there we go. Nice looking one right there. Let's pull this thing out. This is what I thought it was. Ooh, it's a cluster. Bigger than I thought it was going to be. It's actually pretty nice. Just after pulling that out, I realized there was a cluster just above it. I didn't see it right there. Oh, that's nice too. All right, I'm in a good spot. That, that thing. <laughs> All right, it's been a little while. I found that good one over there. I kind of had a dry spot here, but then I found something out. Nice looking. Oh wow. Oh. Be much bigger than I thought. Oh, ho, ho. oh, just keeps getting bigger. Let's see what it looks like. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's see if we get this thing out. This whole thing is a cluster. Oh, I'm right next to it. <laughs> Precursor. I've just found a biggest pocket I've seen since I've been up here. That's <laughs> cool. Look at that thing. That's a big cluster. It's very <laughs> rusty. Got one right on top of the other. It's pretty nice looking. So. Oh. Colors are small, but they're nice. Yeah. I get big ones, but they're kind of ugly. What we got going on over here? <sighs> Looks like we got this rock white. And we have got a few there. All along it there. Ooh, there's in there, in there. There we go. And then some right in the back. Keeps going. Look at that, it keeps going and going. So that's where I pulled that big cluster out. And boom. Another nice one. And then right underneath it, look at that. Oh, okay, that's rusted out in just the edge. Okay, that one looks really nice. Oh yes. Look at that one. Very shiny. Very good. Cool, then. We've been busting this rock up, 
We've already pulled out one very nice cube from it. And we've got another one right there to come out. I'm good. I'm right here at the back of this one. So I just, there was a huge pocket right here about this big and it was all rusted away. Here, just pieces of rust. Look at that. So sad. We've been a huge pirate cluster. But, looks like we might have something good here. So he just broke open this rock. He was trying to get that one out right there. And as he broke it, popped that one out. And this one is a beauty. Look at that. Beautiful twin crystal. Perfect corners on it. That is, that is a nice one. And I'm still trying to get to that one. But I removed the roof. A nice one popped out. And then look at that. Those two right there. Ooh. That's big. This one. Move it out. There we go. Nice. Two nice big ones. Just pulled the rock out of here on the back side. Look at that. Beautiful. Lady. There's your crystal still sitting in the back right there. Ooh, that little cluster too. Looks like I just exposed another cluster right there. Look at that. Nice, another big cluster. So we're gonna try and get that out. Okay, I've got this rock off, so I think I can get them both out now. Number one. And oh, cluster number two is better. Look at that. Oh, there's finally. He, well, he's been having a rough time. He didn't find very big stuff, but he came over here. And now, looks like he's finding some big stuff. Let's see what we got here. Hey, got the edge of one. Rusted out in the middle, but the edge is nice. Let me show you that big one he found. I forgot to show that. Walk over here. He pulled this one out of the ground. Nice big cluster. Look at that thing. So obviously he's in the right spot. Oh, I don't want to talk about right there. Beautiful. Nice one. Alright, Kyler, what we got here? So we had a big rock in the way and we got out of the way and look what it was hiding. Ooh, look at those shiny things. All right, get those things out. Might have to bust the rest of that rock out. This one might come. Yeah, this one's coming out. That's pretty. That's very shiny. Oh, I just popped out another one. Oh, we can even see. <laughs> there we go. Two more. Look how dark those are, those are beautiful. These ones haven't altered very much. They're still mostly pirate on the inside. Okay, he just pulled this one out. Beautiful. This one should clean up really nice. I think I found another cluster right here, but it might be rusted. It's pretty close to the surface. We'll uh, extract it and see what we got. Oh! That's big. <laughs> well, that's where I'm gonna leave it for today. We'll be coming back tomorrow for day two. Well, that is the end of day one. Why don't we take a look at what I found? There is so much that I found today that 
I, I don't really know how to show it all. <laughs> kind of try and go in close and just show you. I found so many limonite cubes and clusters. Over here's got some of the better clusters and that was these, sorry, this one and this one were my favorites from the dig. So let's just take a quick look at some of these. Got a lot of these really nice dark cubes, beautiful things, a whole bunch like that just all over. Occasionally get a little crystal poking out of it. And over here we've got some beautiful clusters, a whole bunch of them, a whole bunch of these clusters. So I've, like I, like I did uh, two weeks ago, I cleaned these up, pretty much just scrubbed them with a toothbrush, and there's all these deposits still on it. Some of it is clay, like in between these cracks is still the uh, kind of the host rock, which is more, mostly a clay stone. And I think I'm gonna try a sonic bath to see if I can get, the, get that out. And then the uh, white calcite, I think it's calcite, is coating some of these crystals. Um, if it doesn't come up with come off with the sonic bath, I'll try maybe some hydro, dilute hydrochloric acid. So let's take a look at my two favorites. This one I like to call the pine cone. So it's a huge cluster, beautiful, and the way it stands up like that is so cool. And then of course the monster from the dig, this huge cluster with giant crystals on it. Beautiful. If I can just get all that stuff off. So stay tuned for when I try to get all of these cleaned off. So that's day one. Let's see what we can find on day two.